Hey guys, Adrian here, and today I have my top five paradoxes uh, that are my particular favorite. So, I am a little late. I told you I was going to do this every Wednesday uh, for the Smarter Media, uh, you know, Smarter Media Org uh, series, and uh, today I'm off by a day. It's raining outside, and I thought it would be a good time to film this. Um, so, first off, let's start off with, uh, again, today's topic is paradoxes. So, what are paradoxes? Paradoxes are statement that, statements that contradict themselves uh, the situation or anything that which defies logic um, and you'll probably be familiar with a couple of these These are my personal five favorite I did a little bit of research about these and uh, these are always things that always interest me because they're always you know those, those eye-popping questions or those those questions that really intrigue me and sort of they require a lot of thought to actually kind of divulge into the situation and all that so with that let's go into number one Achilles and the tortoise uh, so Zeno, which is a man who developed this paradox, was that um, that the fastest an you know the fastest animal couldn't catch the slowest creature, or for that matter, Achilles couldn't catch a tortoise in a race if a tortoise was given a head start. So let's say tortoise starts at point A, or Achilles starts at point A and the tortoise starts at point B, and they they're off to the race. So even if Achilles is as fast as a tortoise, the time it would take for the for Achilles to catch up to the tortoise the tortoise will already have moved a certain distance. So from point B to point C, Achilles would have to travel across from A to B and then so on. As the tortoise goes on, no matter how small the gap is, the tortoise is moving while Achilles is catching up, uh, no matter how fast he is. So this shows us that there's an infinite, this introduced talking about math an infinite number of series in that, you know, again, uh, no matter how much, uh, just because of that, you know, head start, Achilles always has to catch up to the tortoise in the end. So uh, definitely something to read into. And I'm going to leave all the links in descriptions to further explaining these that can, you know, really get in depth about the math and a lot of stuff that's involved in a lot of these paradoxes. And I'd love to hear your guys' favorite paradoxes at the end in the comments as well. All right, number two, paradox of the stone. So there is a paradox of that if a god, if any, you know, god, whatever icon, uh, you know, religious figure believe in, but, you know, a god, a, a holy god that is omnipotent, you know, is all-powerful and can do anything, and that, that's what a lot of people believe in, uh, you know, figure, a godlike figure, you know, he, he's the all-powerful. So if God created a stone that he could not lift, that would make him, un, you know, not all powerful if he created a stone heavy enough that he could not lift. So, for example, if this was a stone, right? If I created a stone, if I was a god, you know, um, and uh, I created a stone that I could not lift, then I would not be all powerful because I could not lift the stone. But let's say I couldn't create the stone. So let's say, you know, I didn't create the stone because, uh, you know, for whatever reason, then I'm still not all powerful because I can't create the stone. So no matter which way, it's an unanswerable question in that if I create a stone that I cannot lift, I can't lift it, so I'm not all powerful. But if I can't create the stone in the first place, then I'm not all powerful either way because I can't create the stone to begin with. So in a way, the question is unanswerable in that in both situations, uh, a god isn't all powerful when it comes to that paradox of the stone. All right, number three, Burden's ass paradox. So excuse my French there. Uh, it refers to a donkey. And this was actually, I believe his name was Jean Burden. I may be uh, misspelling this. Um, but this is actually derived from Aristotle in that he had a paradox of a man who was in the middle uh, between, you know, two things. So a man who was very, very thirsty and a man who was very, very hungry. So we'll use this as an example because these are on my desk. And the man is in between. So like me, I'm in between. He was so thirsty and so hungry that in making the decision whether to eat or whether to drink, he starved because he was caught in between two things that he desirably wanted. And this was later turned into the ass paradox referring to a donkey that was placed in between two stacks of hay, you know, an equal amount of hay with equal amount of quality of hay. So um, either or was the same, you know, each was the same and he was in the middle and he didn't know whether to decide left or right to eat in that you know, both is exactly what he wants, but in, in that decision, in that time it takes him to make a decision that he starves. It's a definitely a thing to think about, and again, it was originally derived from Aristotle and then remade into the uh, Buridan's ass paradox. So yeah. All right, number four, Pinocchio. Pinocchio paradox. So you all know the story of Pinocchio. You've seen the movies, whatever, in the cartoons. 
uh, that Pinocchio's nose will grow if he tells a lie. And some people claim to have solved this paradox, but it is nonetheless still something to think about. So if Pinocchio lies, his nose tends to grow. You know, for every time he tells a lie, his nose will extend out. So if Pinocchio was to say that my nose will grow, that simple statement, my nose will grow, and that it turns into a paradox. So if he says my nose will grow, Theoretically, it won't grow, you know, if you, if you just say, my nose will grow. But then, again, that's telling a lie, so his nose will grow. But then, in that his nose will grow, because he told a lie, his original statement becomes true. It's all kind of uh, woven into a crazy way to think about it. I mean, again, so, you know, he says his nose will grow, it won't grow, but then, since it won't grow, it'll grow, and then that makes his original statement true. So it's all a paradox in that a lot of people say that it's solved in a way that it's if he thinks it will grow, then it's not a lie, you know, all this crazy stuff. So you can definitely look into that one again, the Pinocchio paradox. And lastly, life. The life paradox this is always something that, this is not just one set paradox, but something that is definitely in multiple ways that, you know, when people view life, um, it's a paradox in itself because, you know, everybody wants to live a long life. You know, uh, I guess that's that's not something that's ridiculous to say. Everybody wants to, you know, grow old and live as long as possible to live life to the fullest, but nobody really wants to get old. Nobody wants to get old and have to go into a home or, you know, become weak and depend on others and all of that. But at the same time, some people who have religious views, uh, you know, personally, that's, that's aside from me, but, you know, people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there, you know? That's a very famous saying that everybody who wants to go to heaven doesn't theoretically want to die to get there. I mean, you don't want to be shot or you don't want to be murdered to go to heaven. I mean, you, you want to live, but at the same time, you want to go to heaven. Um, you know, it's that nobody realizes in their life journey that nobody really re reaches the finish line alive. And whatever you believe, if you believe in an afterlife, it's the paradox of life that people want to live a long life but don't want to get old. People want to go to heaven but don't want to die. Um, so that's definitely something to think about. Those are my five top favorite paradoxes. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys will share your favorite paradoxes in the links below, or in the comments below, I should say. Uh, more information on all the paradoxes I stated will be in the uh, doobly-doo below. So thanks for watching. This is my top five paradoxes for the week, and next week we'll have a new topic. Uh, stay tuned and enjoy. i got a lot of vlogs coming up for the channel and some educational content. So thanks for watching. I'm Adrian for Smarter Media.